everybody. It's Lady Mal. I know we're running behind, but uh, my son had oral surgery on Friday, and it's been crazy since then. I've been dog-ass tired at night and just have completely not wanted to do vlogs. So we're playing catch-up today, and I promise it'll be the last time I, I fall behind. Uh, but anyway, today's movie is The Last Exorcism. And one interesting thing about the movie, which doesn't really have anything to do with the movie itself, but if you buy the DVD, um, there's one section where you can go down and select, and it's the pr Prayer to St. Michael, which I don't have it pulled up, but if you'll give me a second, I will. But anyway, they suggest uh, saying it before watching the movie, you know, to protect yourself, which I thought was kind of hokey, but then again, you know, it kind of added a little bit to the movie, kind of made you think. Um, it says, uh, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Which, you know, I'm not Catholic, but... You know, if I was about to watch a movie and that popped up, it would make me think twice. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, the exorcism of Emily Rose. That movie, while it was kind of out there, it had some places that were just unfreaking believable. Anyway, so the last exorcism, um, it's kind of a poke at the exorcism type movies because it's kind of, it's made in the whole documentary form sort of thing of this guy. Um, uh, Reverend Cotton Marcus and he's been preaching since he was like five or six or seven something like that and he is about to do his last exorcism and he wants this these people to document it to show show himself for the fraud that he is and the fraud that he thinks exorcism is that you know people have ruined crops and dead animals and they naturally blame a demon because that's how some backwood religious minds work. Um, and what's kind of funny is there's one scene as he's talking to these documentary people before they actually go out to see the possessed girl uh, where he's like, I I'll bet you I can preach about banana nut bread. And people will fall for it and they'll say amen and you know they won't even pay attention because they're not actually paying attention to what he's saying. They're just falling in like a bunch of sheep. And sure enough, he goes in there and he list the ingredients for banana nut bread and how long to bake it and whatever and can I get an amen and people are just amen and everything and it's hilarious and uh, but eventually he does go out to this farm and it's set in uh, Louisiana which kind of surprised me because they usually go to backwoods but they never specify where they're going they're very specific that they go to Louisiana hi hi anyway and um, they he shows how he makes water boil when she puts her feet in it. I'm sure it's probably like Alka-Seltzer, but you know, her brother's in all, knows that he's a fraud, but he also thinks that this is going to help his sister. So, you know, it's whatever. And dad fully believes that she's being possessed by a demon and yada, yada, yada. One thing leads to another. You can't ever tell if she's actually is possessed or isn't possessed until the very end where you find out that it's, lo and behold, a cult. And uh, they are trying to bring forth this demon called Abalam which you thought from the beginning was a bunch of hokey because it was in this book, kind of like the, uh, uh, oh God, it's the Witch's Hammer, but it's in Latin, I can't remember anyway. Uh, you think it's a bunch of malarkey until the end and Abilam shows up and everybody dies the way she drew that they were going to die because she's giving birth to this demon. Uh, all in all, it's a pretty good movie. Not so many jump out of the, uh, the closets and scare you or gore scare you, but you know, it's exorcism horror movies. Uh, so I think you should watch it. It's a pretty good time. Um, yeah. So y'all have a great day, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.